If you look at the continuum of people, process, and technology in a retail environment, scale impacts every single one of those three elements. From a people perspective, if you look at 10,000 stores, for example, where we are deploying compute, you're gonna have variances in terms of what type of support you have in each of those stores to deploy the technology and to run it. This is where Edge Compute Stack plays a critical role that it evens the playing field. You now have a zero touch deployment model where you're able to deploy compute without having to worry about these variations. From a process perspective, it is often critical to have the deployments as well as the lifecycle management done in a way that you are not having to worry about the, not just the differences in terms of location, in terms of regulations, in terms of how the stores are being run in any given place from a process perspective, but you're able to do all of that in a flexible way addressing all those things. When it comes to scale, technology is also a very critical aspect of the whole picture. Technology is not just about deploying a large amount of compute spread across a very large geographic area, but it's also about making sure that the connectivity that this compute requires is uh, not a detriment to the ability of these applications to run effectively in these environments. We have customers with 5,000 stores. Some of them are in urban areas where there are no connectivity issues. Some of them are in rural areas. It is not possible for them to be able to run these environments effectively unless they're able to address all those challenges in one way. SD-WAN solutions that we have for some of these customers of ours, um, they're an effective way of addressing some of those uh, connectivity issues so they're able to make them more uniform and address the needs of these applications. For retailers, I see AI typically falling into a couple of buckets as far as the use cases that they're implementing today. Both of them related somewhat to computer vision and inferencing, but different use cases that are derived from that center either around loss prevention, so being able to watch what's going on in the store and either identify people that they know that they don't want in the store because of a past incident, or identifying behaviors of those people in the store. So as an example, watching for you know theft in a specific aisle or watching to make sure that the barcode that was scanned on the self-checkout machine was actually what that person was holding in their hand are a couple of things that we've seen on the loss prevention side. Then there's also the safety sides in the grocery space specifically. There's a lot of stuff that can get knocked over and spilled on the floor and lead to a hazard there. So being able to identify things like spills or you know perhaps it's even just a lift that they're using to uh, to move stuff around in the store that's in an area that it shouldn't be or somewhere where a customer could get at it are, are also use cases that we've seen to be able to use AI to help identify when those situations have occurred. The retail sector is particularly exciting because it's an early adopter for edge AI. Whether we're talking about video inferencing for inventory management, loss prevention, customer recognition, self-service checkout, even the various components on the floor, like the zebra scanners, all of these things are intelligent devices that are collecting data, and that data is being utilized at the location. It's not being sent to the cloud or something else. And so you need the infrastructure local to the retail environment they can respond to the needs of all this myriad of OT devices. And that's the value of Edge Compute Stack as part of an Edge AI solution in the retail sector. And the ability for SD-WAN to provide that connectivity when the information is necessary to go back to the data center and collect telemetry, analytics, and the performance of the store, you know, it's equally critical to ensure that that's there as well. So Edge AI is really about the culmination of what's happening in the store and the infrastructure necessary to deliver the technology that the, that the store is using to provide these services. You need a platform that can cater to this explosion of technology at retail stores. This is where our edge compute stack is right-sized for retailers to run those applications. While there are critical applications run right at the edge, there are certain applications that are still hosted centrally, and therefore access to those applications becomes critical. Anytime you lose access to those applications that are hosted, it can result in a direct revenue loss to those retailers. Furthermore, we've seen a lot of cases where there have been security breaches at retail sites. So it is even more important for retailers to ensure that their site is very secure. This is where the use of VeloCloud's SASE technology secured by Symantec addresses that security capability that is offered. Typically retail locations can be in rural areas connected just over cellular or even over satellite in certain cases. So SD-WAN's reliable uh, application optimization over wide area networks is key there. But even beyond that, 
Edge compute is critical and edge AI is critical in retail as well because of use cases around the typical applications like point of sale being virtualized and containerized, but also computer vision based applications where CCTV footage from stores is fed into edge compute to do things like store analytics, analyze uh, inventory use cases, uh, doing computer vision for applications like uh, autonomous stores and doing the, uh, uh, the analysis for that as well. Specific to edge compute in the retail space, we've obviously seen a lot of traditional applications, whether that just be something like point of sale or something that has always run in store or typically runs in store. But we're seeing a lot of things that are driving some of the more customer experience oriented applications. So things like a self-service kiosk, so that if I haven't found something in the store, for example, I might be able to just order it there. And being able to just visualize, for example, how a piece of furniture might look in a room or those types of things are all applications important to the customer experience, but also in a lot of cases are generating a lot of data that isn't necessarily easy to push back and forth in a way that I can interact with it very easily unless it's something that resides right there. Assuming that I even have network connectivity, which isn't always the case. So we've got retailers, for example, that uh, I talked to one recently that they operate in malls and uh, out of their 800 stores, they assume that 20% are gonna be offline at any given time. So being able to run those things locally in a store is obviously of pretty important stature to them as well.